Hello and welcome techies. I am Sambhavya. This is the fifth part of data type. In the previous videos of data type, we have already discussed about what are the different types of data types in general we have. In detail, we have also talked about Boolean data type, numeric data type, character data type. In case you have not watched my previous videos on SQL, please go ahead and check them out. I will leave the link in the description for you. So in today's session, we are going to talk about, again, an overview of general data types. And in detail, we are going to talk about date time data type. We are going to talk about time data type with time zone and without time zone, right? We are going to talk about what is time zone. We will understand what is UTC. And also we will see what are the recognized time zones by PostgreSQL. Right. We will also discuss about time zone, different input methods. We will find out the offset value from the uh, from the traditional time zone abbreviation and vice versa. And we will also learn how to convert different time zones to your local time. So let's get started. So in general data type, we have already talked about Boolean, numeric and character. And today we are going to talk about date time data type. In date time data type also, we will be specific only to time data type. So when we talk about date time data type, what are the different data types we have? So these are the list of different data types. And as we know that the date time data type, it is used to store date and time values. In general, whenever we talk about date time data type, we already know that they are in general used to store date and time values. Now dates are counted according to the Gregorian calendar. Now in order, in order to help us with different date time data types, there are different types of data which is available for us. For example, we have timestamp without time zone, timestamp with time zone, we have a date which used to store only the date value but not with time then we have time without time zone time with time zone and then finally intervals right as an overview if we talk about different data types so timestamp without time zone the storage size is 8 bytes and both date and time can be stored with time is again 8 bytes both date and time with time zone it can store date is of 4 bytes which can store only for the only the date value and time is only used to store the time of the day. Now only difference between these two data type is that time will without time zone will not have any time zone information whereas time with time zone will have time zone information. You must also notice that the difference between these two data types which is without time zone and with time zone for the time data type is the storage size. Without time zone it is 8 bytes and with time zone it is 12 bytes. So in today's session we are going to talk in detail about these data type time without time zone and time with time zone. Rest of the other data types we'll talk about it in upcoming sessions. Right? This table also talks about what is the lowest possible value, what is the highest possible value and what is the resolutions. For example, it captures information in a resolution of microseconds, one microseconds. Date, of course, since it is only capturing the date value, so the resolution is of one day, right? All of them captures the information uh, in the resolution of one microseconds. Now, let's start our discussion with time data type without time zone. So the time data type without time zone, it is used to store the time of the day. This data type is specifically designed only to store the time. It has nothing to do with the dates, only the time. And the storage size required to store the time value is 8 bytes. You should be mindful I'm talking about without time zone. Without time zone, it is 8 bytes. But if you want to include time zone along with your time, then the storage size increases from 8 bytes to 12 bytes. Now the first and the foremost thing is that how do we declare a column as a time data type? So the declaration is very simple. All you have to do is you have to give the column name and then the data type which is time and the precision value. We will talk about this precision value in detail. We will talk about this precision value in detail right now after this slide. So this is a simplest way how you can define a column with a time data type. Now, the moment we talk about the time data type, what is the range of values allowed? 
Of course, the range of value is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That is a midnight to 2400. That is our 12 hours, 24 hours of clock time. So of course, the range of time will always fall within this particular range. Now, when we talk about different time formats, what are the different time formats we can uh, you know, we can insert the value into our SQL tables. So these are the different time formats. Let's say for example, let me take this part here so that I can explain it to you. So if you see here, these are the different ways using which you will be able to insert the values into your SQL. So for the first one is hour and minute, hour and minute. Now you should be very mindful that hour and minutes are separated by colon right an example is 1345 which indicates 13 hours 45 minutes now since this is a 24 hour calendar this is not sorry 24 hours time clock we are not following 12 hours time clock this is 24 hours time clock so 1345 means afternoon one o'clock afternoon one o'clock 145 this is what it stands for Similarly, you can also specify your time with seconds where you separate each of these units hour minutes and seconds with a colon and this is a simple example of it. If you want you can continue storing these values without colon that is also acceptable which is hour minute and second and the value would sometimes look like this. Now when you look when the value is stored like this or when you're storing the values like this you must be mindful that you are inserting a time value which is hour minute and second. Next comes the precision value, minutes, seconds and then the precision value, minutes, seconds and the precision value. Here you would see the example which is 45 minutes, 20 seconds and this is a precision value. I'll talk about this precision value now. Similarly, if you want to insert hours, minutes and seconds with precision value, that is also allowed, right? Again, hour, minutes and seconds, the same format uh, except that it does not have a colon and then the precision value. Now the important thing to note here is hour, minutes and seconds they are always separated by using a colon right they are always separated using a colon and the precision value is always separated by a dot a decimal. Decimal is used to define a precision value whereas colon is used to separate your hour, minutes and seconds. Now what is a precision value? First of all what is a precision value? Let us try to understand. Let's assume that you are watching a movie and I ask you what is the duration of the movie? What is the duration of the movie? You might say okay the duration is two hours assume two hours right now if I say okay can you give me a more precise value a more accurate value for the duration of the movie you might say okay this is two hours and ten minutes right so we are going at one more level granular level that means from hour you have also started defining into minutes right now if I ask you at a further granular level the duration of the movie you might say 2 hours 10 minutes and let's say 45 seconds 45 seconds so here you are all defining our minute and second so what is that we are doing we are trying to find a more precise value from two hours then if I ask you for more precise value then it you give me the output or give me the result in minutes two hours and ten minutes further if I want to drill down at the granular level then it is seconds two hours ten minutes and 45 seconds right now if I want to further go to a granular level to find the accuracy then we have to use this precision value that is the meaning of this particular precision value that means dot so if I want to find exactly right exactly so I can say 2 hour 10 minutes 45 let's say point point seven one two seconds so this is going to be very very precise very very precise very very accurate that is what a precision value means here that is what a precision value means here so this precision value is mostly mostly used to find some event at a very very accurate very very accurate level at a very granular level so that is a meaning of precision now when we talk about precision one more thing which is very much important for you to understand that the precision value the precision values is defined 
only for seconds it is only defined for seconds it is not defined for hour minutes it is only defined for seconds the reason is if i want to find a more accurate value from hours then we can switch to minutes if we want to find a more accurate time then we can from min from minutes we can switch to seconds but what if i want to find more accurate value a more granular level of value from seconds then we will have to go use this particular precision level which is indicated by dot which is indicated by dot that is why you must be very mindful that this precision value which you are seeing here in these three examples is applicable only for seconds it is not applicable for minutes hours right because hours granular level if you want you can drill down to minutes minutes granular level if you want you can drill down to uh, seconds further seconds are indicated after for after seconds the values if you want to see at a more accurate level then those values are indicated with dots those values are indicated with dots i hope to certain extent uh, to certain extent the precision level is clear to you so when we talk about the precision level the first thing you must remember is this is optional you do not have to define it explicitly it is optional you may use it you may not use it it is completely up to you if your situation requires you to specify a precision level you must specify but even if you do not then it is fine so if you do not want to specify precision level then it will become column name and time but if you want to define precision level then it says column name data type time and in the bracket you can define the precision how many digits so here precision means how many digits to how many digits you can boil down now when we talk about how many digits we want to further boil down then the allowed range is 0 to 6 0 to 6 means number of digits you can have after second so that is nothing but six digits you can have maximum six digits one two three four five six you can have maximum six digits for your seconds precision right and as i mentioned earlier applicable only to seconds applicable only to seconds now the moment i talk about this precision first thing first and the foremost thing is that you should know how to read this value let us take this particular example right so this is a world record set by usain bolt for 100 meters now you see the time time is 9.58 seconds that means here time 9 is nothing but your seconds and 58.58 is the precision value this is sorry this is precision value this is precision value now what i have done for seconds there are two levels i mean two units after the second is acceptable so 9.58 if you want to look at this particular world records for non jenny right which is for thousand meters for thousand meters what is his records this is his world record now what is this value how do we read this so this two indicates minutes 11 indicates seconds and dot 96 is nothing but a precision value for this particular second so we will read it as 2 minutes 11 seconds 11.96 seconds so that is how it is being read similarly for michael phillips we talk about his world record 400 meters which is 4 minutes and 5 seconds but if you don't boil down to further granular level then it becomes 5.25 seconds so this is two decimals or two digits uh, two digits for the precision of second 0 0.5 so that is a meaning of your precision that is a meaning of your precision so you must be very mindful while reading these values so minutes and seconds they are separated by colon whereas the precision value is separated by a dot separate precision value separated by a dot similarly suppose you want to capture this time at a more granular level so you can say let's say two minutes sorry two yeah two minutes 11 seconds dot nine six one five four right so what am i doing i'm saying two minutes 11.96154 i'm capturing at a more gra granular level value that is a meaning of precision right the accurateness the accurateness we want to capture right so this is in milliseconds so you can see i have given a dot here so this dot denotes the accurateness or the precision value that is a meaning of precision
I hope the precision value is clear to you, right? Now, when you're defining the data type, you should be mindful about few things. The first thing is that minutes and seconds value should be less than or equal to 60. So you already know that minutes and seconds value can never be more than 60. It is always less than or equal to 60. Similarly, when you are inserting your value with AM and PM notations, when you are inserting your value with AM and PM notations, right, your hour times should be less than or equal to 12. You already know that. I'm just telling you that you should be mindful about this. Now let's do some practical example in order to understand this. So here I am trying to create a table right without time zone. So right now we are not talking about the time zone. I'm trying to create a table without time zone. So create table timetable one that is a table I am creating which has got a serial number and the data type defined is serial which we have already discussed in our previous video. Then we are having a work shift which is a var car for 100 right this also we have discussed in our previous video. Now these are the different uh, you know columns we are defining for our time and this time I am already defining in terms of hour and minute right second time I'm defining with seconds hour minute and seconds third I'm defining in the form of HHMMSS I'm going to define it right similarly here I'm going to have a precision value where I have defined a precision of four we discussed earlier also that this is optional you may use you may not use so in the previous three columns of time I have not used the precision and in the last two I'm trying to use this precision value right now even though you might have noticed that for all the different values, I mean for the different times, I mean the data type, the method of defining the data type is same. The only difference is in the way of inserting the value, the insertion methods which I was talking about here. So you can, for these, all these columns, for all these columns, for the time, you can insert the value in any of these possible ways. Hour, minute, hour, minute, seconds, and minute seconds with precision that is the meaning of it so when you're defining the table when you're defining a table a column with a time data type the data type looks like this the method of insertion is different the method of insertion is slightly different now let me create this table let me create this table for you so this table I have created and let me show you the result. Now when I'm showing the result, you would see that all the columns have been populated. Since we have not inserted any values, you will not see any result, any row of data. But one important thing for us to note here is time HH hour. That means this time which I have inserted, other time column with seconds and uh, with minutes, with precisions, whatever it is, you would say time without time zone, time without time zone, time without time zone. That means this is a method of inserting the values <clears throat> or defining a column without time zone. This is a method of creating a column and defining a data type without time zone. Why? Because we have not defined any time zone parameter over here as of now. So when you use only time, it will always create a data type with time without the time zone. Now let us start pushing in some values into my table. So I'm trying to insert the values inside my table. I have inserted a serial number since it is a serial data type. So automatically the value will be populated here and each time I insert a value, it will be incremented by one. We have already discussed that earlier. So here for work shift, I have uh, given a value of shift one. Now here, first method I'm trying to define here is 930, which is in the form of hour and minute separated by colon. Second, I am going to insert the value in hour, minute and second, each separated by a colon. Third one, hour, minute and second without any delimiter or without any separation. The fourth one is minute and seconds with precision value with precision value the moment you see dot the moment you see dot and some digits after the dot assume that this is a seconds value this is a seconds value this is a seconds value right similarly we have 9 and then we have 30 which is 9 hour 30 minutes 45 seconds with some precision value with some precision value right now if i execute this you, if I execute this, you would see the value gets inserted into my table. Now, let's look at our table first. Let's look at our table first. 
Now you would notice that we have inserted the value in our table 930, 930, 45. But one important thing for you to notice is irrespective of whatever method I have inserted the value, the value stored in the table is in the same format. The value stored in the table is in the same format like 930. Still, I am not here. I'm not defining any seconds value, but you see by default, SQL is storing the value as 930. Similarly here 930 45 definitely here I have defined the seconds value so it has accepted 930 and 45 as a second. This also has accepted the seconds. Now here you would see this is nothing but minutes and seconds. Now how did SQL know that 30 is a minute and not something else because of this precision value for the seconds. So you see here 00, zero hours 30 minutes, 45 seconds with some precision value, right? So you must be mindful that the method of defining a data type with time data type is same, right? Time, time, time and precision is four. That is optional for you. But the method of inserting the values could be different. And the way SQL show you the data type is also the value is also the same it is 930 930 45 930 45 it is the same right so this is a different common time formats using which you can insert the value so we have seen how to deal with time data type without time zone without time zone now let us learn about how to handle or tackle time data type with time zone time data type with time zone now before we jump into time data type with time zone let us understand what a time zone is actually what is actually a time zone so in general time zone refers to the local time of a region or a country in general time zone nothing is nothing but it ref it is a reference of the local time of a region or a country for example you know that at this point of time different countries may have different time and they differ drastically they may differ by two hours some may differ by four hours they differ by 12 hours and so on and so forth so the difference is huge at this particular time if you think about uh, you know people having time in USA or Canada or Germany or India they at this at this instant also they have different time right and that is what the time zone is so you see it has been given a name CST central standard time right in CST you see different country follow CST zone Canada Costa Rica Mexico United States similarly MST mountain standard time the countries which follow MST mountain standard time is Canada, Mexico, United States and there are so many other countries as well. EST Bahamas, Canada, Mexico, United States, IST Indian standard time. Now you might be surprised that okay Canada is also into CST, Canada is also un, uh, under MST and Canada is also for EST. Same thing is for United States. United States is also follow CST, MST and EST. You might have noticed. So how is it happening? What is the actual reason? The reason is very simple guys. Times the time zone map is not a political map which divides each countries by the boundaries, right? Time zone has a different time zone map right time zone is not a political map but a time zone map showing time zone boundaries right so political map defines uh, draws boundaries for country right similarly time zone map defines boundary for time zones for time zones now let us see let us look at this particular map now let me bring this map over here right so that I can explain it to you. Now this is our time zone map. This is our time zone map. Now let us understand what is this time zone map. So time zone map is one of the areas into which the world is divided where the time is calculated as being a particular number of hours behind or ahead of GMT or UTC, right? You might have read about this GMT, UTC. GMT is nothing but your Greenwich mean time. Now, what is this time zone map? It is pretty simple to understand and it is really very really helpful as well. So let me show this to you. So you might have you might notice this area. I'm not sure whether this area is clear to you or not. Right. I hope this is visible where I'm trying to refer this UTC part. Right. You can see here UTC. So in the easiest way to understand this, suppose 
now this is a center of the world uh, center of the assume the center of the world right now you know this is a globe right which has been slit into from the center and it has been spread so assuming that this to be center of the world so what we do is we use this as a reference point we use this as a reference point and from here we either go east which is your left right hand side direction or west right to denote the different time zones now you will notice here plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 what is the meaning here so we will use UTC as a reference whenever we are calculating our time zones in terms of UTC so UTC is also referred as Greenwich Mean Time which is nothing but your GMT so what we do is if we want to refer this particular countries let's say all these countries which is in lying between these lines sorry I'm scribbling up but this all falls between plus one that means if I want to specify the time for this countries I can say UTC plus one right that means we will calculate the difference from the UTC similarly if I keep going towards east let's say I come here so I can say okay this is plus six UTC plus six so we know that what is the meaning of UTC plus six similarly if I go towards west or the left hand side of the map you see minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 now when I talk about minus 6 or minus 5 so in one so let's say for example one country let's say this region or you can talk about this region you see there are different values minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 right so these are nothing but in hours UTC plus 1 means plus 1 hour UTC plus 3 means plus 3 hours UTC minus 1 means minus 1 hour UTC minus 4 means minus 4 hours so that is the difference this is denoted in hours right so if I talk about this particular place this particular country right you will see that minus 4 and minus 5 it falls into two different uh, it is denoted in two different time zones right minus 6 and minus 5 so you see here this is a long spread minus 6 minus 5 minus 8 minus 7 I mean and so on minus so what is happening is the same country may follow different time zones and what is happening is these are given some names they were just given some names right EST, PST, MST different names has been given to them that is the meaning of your time zone actually calculation so what we do is in general UTC is your uh, coordinated universal time which is nothing but a GMT which is used as a reference right now in order to refer the time zone what we do is whenever we travel e towards the east we calculate one hour this one hour is per 15 degree I believe if I'm not wrong one hour per 15 degrees right so <clears throat> as we shift towards the east 15 degrees that one hour is being added one hour plus one hour plus one hour plus one hour and so on and so forth similarly towards the west if we move towards the west western countries it is minus minus one hour minus two hour minus three hours minus four hours so i hope this thing is clear to you right now when we look at this right when we look at this the time zone map is not a political so based on the gmt these values names has been assigned and based on the utc value which you are seeing here towards the west you see negative values minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and it is not only I mean this indicates hours minus 1 hours minus 2 hours minus 3 hours UTC plus 1 hour plus 2 hours plus 3 hours plus 4 hours plus 5 hours and so on and so forth right so UTC is nothing but a coordinated universal time it is a 24 hours time standard used as a basis for civil time today all the time zones are defined by their offset from UTC so if you see all the countries or all the places in the world are defined by the UTC time difference which is nothing but an offset value so let's say for example India which is around plus 5 hours approximately which is 5.3 hours similarly if you go towards EST PST uh, mountain time minus 6 minus 7 minus 8 hours that is the meaning of it the offset is expressed either as UTC minus or UTC plus UTC minus means I am shifting towards the western side and UTC plus means I'm shifting towards the eastern side which is the right hand side of it so I hope you would have understood 
what is the meaning of uh, UTC time zones and all those things I hope it is clear right now when we talk about time data type with time zone so as we know that it requires 8 bytes it generally requires 8 bytes I'm sorry right so we have talked about the time without time zone we already discussed about time data type we have already talked about time data type without time zone without time zone so when we talk about without time zone when we talk about without time zone right it is 8 bytes I'm sorry about my handwriting it is 8 bytes but time time and if you include time zone if you include time zone let's say TZ indicates time zone then it is 12 bytes that means additional 4 bytes is used to store your time zone value you should just remember this particular point okay now SQL allows user to specify the time zone in mostly three different ways there are three ways using which you can enter the value for the time zone first is using the full full time zone name for example America New York then you can also use the time zone abbreviation like PST for example let's say if you want to for America United States right for example PST or EST whatever you want you can denote it in that way right so you can use abbreviations for the time zones which is PST or EST CST MST right you can also use UTC offset values you can also use UTC offset value now UTC offset value is really very important because when you store the values the in your table the SQL will always use this UTC format to store the value that means it will store the value as a UTC offset and that means the difference the difference from the UTC plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 in hours similarly minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 in hours right so it is really important for us to understand what is the meaning of it right now when we are talking about all these time zones and UTC and all the things so what is a way how do we create a column with a time data type with time zone we have already discussed about how to create a column with time data type without time zone but if you want to create a data type with time zone all you have to do is column name time with time zone you have to use the keyword with time zone time also you can define here precision value what we have discussed earlier so this precision is optional here I have not specified but if you look at the complete syntax it is column name time in the bracket you can define the precision value and you can use with time zone with time zone now you must be wondering what are the different time zones we have so there are so many postgres uh, sql recognized time zones wat ndt adt right western africa time newfound newfoundland daylight times uh, daylight uh, time Atlantic daylight time right so many of them are there and you see the offset value is given here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3.3 .3. so you know whenever we talk about this minus we are talking about the western or the left hand side of the UTC value which is this part and whenever we talk about the positive values right BST CET SWT and so on and so forth we are always talking about the eastern side of the UTC or uh, GMT right which is on the right hand side right you can see so many different formats are there another important thing which I want to notice here is this values UT is universal time UTC is universal time coordinated Z is nothing but a short form for Zulu all these things are same all these things UT so here Z this part UTC it is GMT it is UT it is Zulu Z everything stands for the same this is nothing but a military uh, method of storing the time Zulu and Z Z is short form for Zulu and uh, this is a military method of storing the time right and then you can see these values right now you don't have to memorize all these time zones it is not required you can use this for a reference but SQL also provides you PostgreSQL also provides you features where you can get all these time zones right so let me uh, show you some examples right we have discussed all these things right now before that 
before that i have also sorry uh, i missed this part uh, when before getting into the practicals of time with time zone we also have few practicals left out with you know uh, time without time zone right so here you see we were talking about time without time zone you can also insert your value with am and pm notations right so let's say for example uh, in the same case if i want i can insert the values with am and pm notations so let me execute this piece of query and if I execute this, you would see the result. Here, the first value which I have inserted is 9.30 p.m., which you see SQL has captured in 24 hours clock time, which is 21.30. Here, I have calculated, I have tried to store the value as a.m., so 9.30, 9.30, 9.30. 30 45 seconds that has been stored as a.m., right? Similarly, all these values I have stored as am or pm so you can definitely do that right when you are inserting time with a and pm am and pm the r value should not be more than 12 in case if it is more than 12 it will be a problem let's say for example 1930 and i am adding here am now am does not make any sense here right because if you are talking about am and pm that means we are talking about 12 hours clock we are only talking about 12 hours clock so in this case sql will throw error it will definitely throw error see daytime field value out of range 1930 because if we were 1930 is not applicable for am pm whenever you're defining am or pm the value the r should always be less than or equal to 12 right similarly if you are inserting the value for minute and seconds greater than 60 it will definitely throw an error so let's say for example 9 95 pm we know that the seconds time cannot be or minutes time cannot be greater than 60 so if i insert this sql will definitely throw an error and how does the sql knows because we have already defined the column name as time data type so sql knows that okay if you are defining your time in hours and minute hour uh, sorry am and pm the value cannot exceed more than 12 right if you add the time minutes and seconds value can never exceed more than 60 so based on the data type sql understands all those things automatically right now as i was talking about the time zone so let's get back to our time zone discussion so i i have told you these are the postgres SQL recognize time zones and I said that you don't have to memorize them if you want to get this information from SQL you can query your PG time zone names right if I execute this query PG time zone names you will notice that SQL is giving me all the names with abbreviations UTC offset DST daylight saving whether it is applicable to this or not let's say indiana mauritius right it is plus four what is a utc offset value four here negative values means left hand side what we have discussed utc uh, i was talking about this utc left hand side will be values will be negative uh, left hand side values will be indicated with negative and right hand side values will be indicated with positive so that is what it is uh, showing here right see plus three plus seven that means i'm talking about you know right hand side that means the eastern side of the utc right you can also use this query pg time zone abbreviations if you are looking for abbreviations and all so you see abbreviation as acdt utc time offset time is 10 30 right act minus five and so on and so forth right so from sql also you can get this information now let us quickly jump into creating a table with time zone now whenever we are talking about creating a table or a column with time zone the data type must be specified like this time with time zone time with time zone similarly time to time with time zone time three now here you see i have specified with precision value five precision with time zone i am trying to insert a time value with a precision of five with time zone now let me insert let me create this particular table let's quickly create this table so our table has been created now if i execute this of course it will only display the column and no rows because we have not inserted anything but the important thing for us to note here is that time with time zone time with time zone initially when we created the other table other table let me show you this table which was without time zone so it clearly shows 
it it clearly shows that this is time without time zone this is a time without time zone and here when you are creating uh, using an option time with time zone that means we are instructing sql to create our table with time zones right now i'm trying to insert different values and there are different methods of insertion what are the different methods of insertion let's have a look at it so time zone input method so there are different ways you can insert the value of the time zones so for example pst which is an abbreviation for specific standard time you can specify the time zone with full name right like america new york pst8 it is a POSIX style to enter the value of the time zone these all methods are from utc which is minus eight so you can define minus eight so when we are talking about minus eight we are actually talking about this particular region we are talking about this particular region right similarly uh, utc offset for pst this is iso 8601 extended format same thing is if basic format minus 800 minus eight it all represents the same zulu as i mentioned earlier it is a military abbreviation for utc and zulu can also be represented by z so these are the different ways using which you can you know different ways of inserting the value into your time zones now let's create since we have created the table <clears throat> let's insert the values into it so i'm inserting shift now you see the first example is pst where i'm using the time zone abbreviation specific standard time i am inserting minus 8 which is the utc offset value using utc offset value for uh, pst similarly i am using the offset value for pst but in extended format with precision value for seconds always remember the precision value is only applicable for seconds so let me create this and let me show you the result let me show you the result so you see here now let me zoom in a little bit so that we can understand this so you see here 930 pst even though we insert the value in different format which we have discussed here pst or by using a full name for the time zone or any of these methods sql will always store the value as a offset for the utc so that is why it is really important for us to understand this utc format so the moment i say minus eight so you see it is coming to this specific standard time zone it is uh, it shows this is a specific standard time zone so sql will always store the value with the using the offset for utc that means the difference in the utc in respective of whatever method you enter the value see here pst is also like minus eight minus eight also i have inserted with this minus 800 is also inserted like this so minus 800 when you specify it is minus eight dot i mean colon zero zero right similarly let us insert in few other ways let's say iot5 right post six style time zone right plus 530 utc offset value zulu military style right so military standards format of representing utc so if i execute this and if i show you this table show you this table you would see the value has been inserted so iot5 right it is showing this value so this is plus 530 means what i am trying to move from utc towards plus 530 that means for indian time zone it will represent Indian time zone. Zulu. Zulu is nothing but your UTC, right? Or GMT. This is a part. UTC. Zulu is this part. So it will always show 000, right? For the Zulu. What is for time 3, right? So this is about your <coughs> time zone, how you can insert and what are the different ways using which you can, you know, uh, actually insert your time zone values, right? Now, <coughs> you can always convert your time zone into i mean utc value to time zone names there is a possible you can definitely do that that is what we are going to learn here finding the offset it is not value it is typing error value from time zone abbreviation and vice versa that means we'll try to find the offset value from the time zone abbreviations and also using the time zone abbreviations we'll try to find the offset value so this is a command select name abbreviation utc offset from 
PG time zone names where UTC offset is equal to 530. So I'm defining that this is a UTC offset value. So I want to find what is a name, what is abbreviation, what is a UTC offset. All these things I want to print. So let me execute this query and show it to you. Now you would see that it is showing 530. It is represents Indian time. So Asia Calcutta IST, Asia Colombo, right? Asia Kolkata IST and you see the UTC offset value 530. It is positive plus 530, right? Similarly, if you want to look into the entire table, PG time zone names, all it does it, it also gives the information of daylight saving. So you see is DST, it means do, do, the, do they follow daylight saving? No, we do not follow the daylight saving, but there are certain places or certain countries which follow the daylight saving. Let's take, a, let's take another example of minus seven. So when I talk about minus seven, that means from here I am shifting to this zone, right? I am shifting to this particular zone, right? Minus seven. So let's execute this query and see what happens. So you see for minus seven, there are so many different abbreviation uh, for your uh, time zones like PDT which is your uh, uh, daylight saving Pacific daylight saving time MST right so many different time zones falls under this particular value right if you want you can also execute this which will also show you whether the specific areas follow the time zones or not so see daylight saving it will say yes right so these all follows MST mountain standard time they do not follow the daylight saving uh, factors right daylight saving is nothing but the summer time right it is in short it is summer time pdt right right it follows specific daylight saving it follows it is true though this value says whether this particular name or this particular area this particular zone right santana dawson right it follows time zone or not right america vancouver true means it follows the daylight saving right Similarly, you can also find the offset value from the time zone abbreviation. So let's say here the time zone abbreviation is IST, right? IST. So IST has two, uh, IST means Indian Standard Time, Asia Calcutta, Asia Kolkata, ERI, which is this value, and then Europe Dublin, IST. These follows your IST time. Similarly, if I look for CST, what is the offset value? If I want to find the offset value for CST, I can execute this query and you can get these values for IST. Oh, sorry, this is for CST, right? Now, apart from that, there are some useful functions which may be very handy for you. I have given few of them. So these select local time if you want to find what is your time. You want to see what is your time zone, what is your current time. All these things you can have it. Let me execute this. Show local time. So this will display what is my local time. So it says 11.445, right? And you see here, if I zoom in a little bit, you see this shows 635327. Six digits, six digits is nothing but the precision value, right? If I look into my other time value, let me zoom out and execute this show time zone so here it is not showing time zone what time zone i am following but if i execute this it so it shows that i am following asia kolkata time zone because i am in india so i am definitely following this time zone right if you want you can execute this also right select current time which will tell you what is the time zone so you see here by default it is giving a plus 530 so in india the UTC offset value is plus 530. If you look at our map, the time zone map, so this is a region for India, but it is not exactly five starts from here, so it is 530. Five hours, 30 minutes. That is the meaning of it, right? You can also see the current setting of your time by using the command select current setting from the time zone. If you execute this, it will show you, right? Now, <clears throat> you can also convert your time zones right let's say for example you can let me execute this we have created this particular table right uh, let me delete this this is not required now suppose you would notice here that i have different time zones here let's say for example i'm talking about time one right in my query i have used time one so here minus eight and minus zero five oh sorry this is a time zone which has been inserted here if i want to convert them these time zones into my local time right let's say time one is 9 30 in the morning for minus 8 that means i'm talking about 
from UTC minus 8. This region I am talking about 9.30. So if I want to convert it into my local time, that means from here, I want to convert it into my time zone. So I can easily do that. So this is a command. I have taken one column as time 1 and the second column for the conversion. So time 1 at time zone. I am specifying time zone. What is the time zone? UTC at time zone EST. Right now, let me execute this and show you the result. So you see here 930, which is like 1230 and it is 5. And now it has been converted to my time zone, right? That local timestamp, right? So I hope these concepts are clear to you. How do you use time zone? What is a time zone? What is UTC? Uh, what is GMT? What is the meaning of UTC offset plus minus and so on and so forth. So I hope you have understood the time with time zone and without time zone very clearly. And guys, if you want to continue learning SQL or Python or data science, in fact, machine learning and AI, please like and subscribe my channel. I'm going to upload a lot of videos on data science machine learning as well. Also hit the bell icon to receive notifications for my upcoming video. Thank you so much for your time and patience. You have a great day ahead. Thank you so much.